Hello and welcome to this video playing Boss and Hicks. That's something from physics, right? Physics. Does he play at all? Ah, oh, he does. Okay. Caro two knights. They all play that. It's really in fashion, understandably. It's an interesting line from Black's perspective. have to think about it for a moment <laughs> it's not like I mean I know my repertoire the repertoire that I compiled but it is um, sometimes still it takes a moment yeah to reflect what's going on and, so, and then I can then I can play the line yeah this he's on probably going for Bishop um, to b5 Something that I can prevent with knight takes here. Yeah, why not? Let's try it. Hmm, interesting, huh? interesting position. Knight c6 eh? looks very, very logical. Um, the question is, do I want to take or I can try knight f3, just go back. Maybe. Just uh, don't help him with trades. Queen e2, bishop e3, next moves. Black here always has to find a good solution for the king. Uh, the king on e8, hmm, yeah. Currently it's actually reasonably safe there, but you will basically never, never castle short. That's not going to happen. So you have to castle um, queen side. Not easy to do. And um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like my position here. Yeah. That's such a huge question. Is f8 better than e7? Hmm. Hmm. Or am I not getting something? No. Like <laughs> there's a there's a sacrifice or but this isn't the case. So what's going on here? What is going on here? I'm going to just make this a little bit sounder and then see what black is doing. C4 can also be an idea, absolutely. It's not so easy here to, to handle this with the black pieces, I guess. to go where a7 looks correct so bishop e3 bishop c5 yeah i'm not quite certain i should probably do this this first so he's never he's not castling anymore that's good good thing i guess to d4 maybe he can castle short it's not like I'm mating him immediately maybe it is possible to do that okay so I've gained, gained huge uh, space on the queen side yeah, I'm, I'm out for queen a3. Yeah, let's go to b2, queen a3 on the radar. So, 
so yeah maybe book d8 yeah so check king eight hmm is there some way to i mean black's black's position looks pretty awful the only thing i see is a queen c7 i've got king d2 yeah i just have king d2 and g4 g5 is a simple threat yeah yeah that's it yeah he has no moves he's got no moves um yeah but uh, there was no way out there anyway yeah that turned out to be really uh, really nice Com compli complicated uh, complicated game okay so here a black played bishop to d7 um if he wants to be let's say more certain of the trade maybe he should start with actually taking on d4 i will take with the knight though anyway hmm yeah okay bishop d7 bishop d3 so we have the capture you could go bishop b5 now maybe simply not allowing uh, not allowing me to take engine wants to take and play a4 okay I would even assume that I'm that I'm still a bit better here, just just because of space. But um, probably not the best possible way to play. Take take a4 is what the engine is is giving. So queen a6 and then knight g. Ah yeah, okay. So queen a6 isn't all that great because I can immediately attack. Hmm. The problem here is that a move like that just doesn't work. Yeah, queen a3 is killing. There's just no way for the queen to cover f7. Interesting. So, okay, he took. I took with the knight, yeah, prevent the whole trade. And here I decided to keep it on the board. Yeah, it's, it's probably better. Huh? I, I can cannot imagine that I'm better here. It's always funny that the engine wants to take, but this is a, a decision that a human player is really having a hard time with, and I don't think it's good. There are cases in those lines where you can maybe take, but this is not one of them, in particular because I have no knight. Sometimes when you have a knight, you can, in those lines, you can sometimes support this somehow and get some pressure, but that doesn't work here. Okay, I went back to f3, bishop c5, queen e2, a5. That might make a lot of sense. Prevent b4. After I got b4 in, I felt I'm in really good shape. And a3, maybe not. That's not the most forceful move, but it, it makes sense. I prepare c4, and I'm just waiting for a bit. I don't want to castle a5 yeah and now after b5 that must be a really nice position a4 knight c8 was better trying to play queen d8 knight to b6 okay yeah yeah that, that's probably that's really awkward yeah because you don't really like to take on d4 and what are you playing yeah? queen c uh, queen c7 mm -hmm. no. okay g4 was even better than queen to b2 Oh, but. Ah, knight c6, wow, wow, that would have been absolutely shocking eh, to face. Knight c6, wow. Yeah, 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 once you see it, you kind of, hmm, yeah. Yeah, and then the knight coming to b4 will at least keep black um yeah safe from an immediate disaster something like this uh, it's still better for white but uh, it's a huge difference if this is on b4 and compared to like here ah, nice one that's something you can really overlook i mean both sides just with black it's it's kind of it's a bit of a hidden resource
it's, it's, this is an interesting question. How can you f find a move like knight c6? Huh? I think in Blitz it's difficult anyway. He had no time. It, uh, he had 10 seconds, 15 seconds, whatever. Not much. But even in even in a longer time control game, it, it maybe um, this is this rule trying to improve the worst placed pieces. Uh, maybe this is, is helpful. Like knight on a7 is really bad, and if you more actively think about how can you improve it, you will probably end up with moving the rook on c8, play knight c8. But if you have the knight like in the back of your mind, that like maybe the knight c6 somehow occurs to you. Yeah, it can also help to think about unprotected pieces, like the queen moving to b2 moves on an unprotected piece, uh, unprotected square, I mean. So it is an unprotected piece now, and this combination maybe can bring you um, to the point that you think about knight c6. That would have been a huge um, difference, really. After after this, um, I'm, I'm just winning. g4, g5, you cannot cannot really defend it. Like here I would play king d2, it's probably best. And then g5 is such a devastating threat, it's just nothing to do. Okay guys, thanks for watching.